Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Estoc. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to add your artist bio to your web page. So you want to go ahead and open up your website. Remember that it's your digital portfolio, so you can just go to your drive and you can, um, you should be able to go to your drive and if you created that folder that we talked about, it should say ceramics um, 2021. So there's mine right here, it says ceramics 2021. And then you should be able to have, um, just open that up and have your portfolio in there. If you did not make a folder and you're not sure how to find it, you can go ahead and just go to the search bar and you can actually search in your drive and you can just type up the word portfolio and then you'll be able to search your drive for your digital portfolio. So I have mine open, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this is kind of where we ended last time when we were working on our websites. We had all of our content blocks placed. And so it would actually be really easy for you to just copy and paste your paragraph here. If for some reason you do not have anything on your homepage, um, remember this bio is going on the homepage. So make sure that you check that you are on the homepage. Um, if you don't have anything here, I'll actually delete this and show you how to add that. So you're going to make sure that you're on the insert tab and then you're going to come down to layouts and you'll see this top layout here on the top left corner. So go ahead and click on that one and that's going to go ahead and add a photo, a title and a paragraph. So we just need to resize this photo box. It's a little bit too big. So we're going to go ahead and resize that. And now we have kind of a big gap between the photo box and the text box. So go ahead and drag that and let's close up that gap. We want to go ahead and add the title, which is about the artist. Remember, this needs to be in title case, so about an artist needs to be capitalized. The next thing that you're going to do, we're not going to place a picture for right now because we're going to use a picture of your pottery um, from later on in class. So you can just leave that blank for right now, but we want to go ahead and make sure that we add in your paragraph. So to go and find that, you can go ahead and go back over to Google Classroom and go ahead and open up the assignment that says artist bio draft. These have all been graded and returned back to you. So make sure that you open it up if you need any corrections, that you go ahead and make those corrections using Grammarly. So I have my sample open, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my sample paragraph. So all you're gonna do is open yours up. Again, if you already turned it in, that's fine. Um, you should be able to open it up and view your, view your file. I'm going to go ahead and check. I can see that there's no underlines. There's no, um, it's already been corrected. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and hit copy. You can also use the control key and hold down control and this letter C and that will also copy and then come back over here and I'm going to click here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to put paste as plain text. So there we go. I want to make sure that it's also normal text. You can see all the different choices you have. This should be normal text. Your heading should be title and then your paragraph should be normal. And then that is it. We, didn't, we do not need to add a photo for right now. Um, if you want to, you could add your photo of your pinch pot. Um, you can always change this photo throughout the year, but you can just leave it blank for this assignment. The next thing you need to do is you need to screenshot this. So you're going to hold down the control key and then above the letter, the number six, you'll see a key. Um, it has a square with a couple of lines next to it. You're going to go ahead and screenshot that. And it should pop up over here that you have a screenshot now. And your screenshots should go into your Google Drive right away. And so then the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to open up the assignment on Google Classroom. You can also go to the slide. So you'll see here, you'll have a slide that'll say reflection to an artist bio screenshot. You can also just click on that and then you're going to turn in that screenshot on Google Classroom. So if you have any questions, be sure to make sure that you ask me. Uh, last thing you need to make sure you do is you hit this blue publish um, button and that will make sure that all of your uh, changes have been saved and that we will be able to view them live online. All right, we'll have a great rest of your day.